Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the new college baseball season. Tonight on the SEC ESPN Network from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, it's the main Black Bears out of the America East Conference meeting the nationally ranked preseason LSU Tigers from the SEC. Here we go. Blake Money to the plate. Swung on and driven deep to center field. Dylan Cruz is retreating. He stumbles, but he's got time to collect it. And Shulafon gave it a pretty good ride to straightaway center field. Dylan Cruz was able to backpedal and get it. Yeah. He'll wind up, and he uncurls. Swing and a miss on high heat. Pitch. Swing and a miss. A fly ball to deep center and back-to-back -back strikeouts recorded by Money. And that breaking pitch had knots tied up. Four consecutive strikeouts for Blake Money. Money has retired five in a row via strikeout. Joe Bear smacks that one on a hop and collects the first base hit through the right side. So LSU has the first base runner of the game on a one out single to right by Braden Jobert. Bottom to try to get that back side of that lineup rolling. Dugas is hit by a pitch. This is lifted up the elevator shaft, and Marquez, the shortstop, is calling for it, and he's got it. So the Tigers leave a pair. The two who is also ranked. So big time games coming up for LSU against some big time opponents. Cruz retreats in a hurry and now watches this fly ball come out of the darkness into his glove off the bat of Quinn McDaniel. Strikes right away. We're going to put hitters on the defense. That's how I want you to pitch. And that's been the message since this new coaching staff came in here to LSU. That is snared by Kate Doty. He went to the wall, reached into foul ground and made the legal catch on a lot of guys to come in and give us some quality innings. Blake Money continues to pump strikes. It took six pitches. Off batter Joe Bear here, three and one. There's a ball driven deep to right field. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Braden Jobert in his debut for the Tigers. Gives LSU a one nothing lead on a drive that beat the wind in right center field. Ball by Braden Jobert. And Thompson is hit on the left side. Here we go at 2-2. Two -two. Ram to the third baseman on one hop. To second for one. To first for two. Nicely done around the horn. Goodman got it started. McDaniel relayed it from second. And Bramante was waiting for it at first. And the veteran Ray Gregson behind the plate. Safford chases one that might have been elevated and becomes strikeout victim number six. A call third strike. Letter high heat. Jordan Thompson remains at shortstop. Money continues. Defensively, he is as good as anybody. This will be a chance for Cruz, who retreats and now comes on and makes the play. A three up, three down inning. There's a knock up the middle. That's what Trey Morgan does, and he's on his way to second base after a misplay in center field. Trey Morgan never let his eyes stray from the baseball, and when he saw that bobble, he was moving. SEC Network. That's through to right field. Trey Morgan is on his way to the plate. It's cut off and the Tigers take a two nothing lead. Jacob Berry finds some space on the right side. A chop to the left side. And Goodman takes care of business. Pitch with one out. Oh, a bender. And it was a plate splitter. Strikeout number nine. That's high and away, and that is the first walk for money. 
Markers in the fourth and fifth. This time the pickoff is successful. A base running mistake by Shulafung, who was nearly picked off a couple of pitches earlier. He's aboard for the third time. So LSU's got a long way to go, and it's important for this team to get off to a good start because they are very young. That's misplayed at second base, and the runners will try to take another 90 feet. Another try for the third baseman. This time the throw to the first, first is okay. And Ben, the runners cannot advance, and indeed on the previous play, it was an error on the second baseman. First pitch swinging. And the tag out in the base path. So a 5-2 put. The Tigers have a pair in scoring position. Slow ground ball left side, and it is unable to be fielded by Marquez. He was charging it. He realized it was going to have to be a do-or-die scoop. And he expired. Loose. They do. And he rips one way back in center field. It will roll to the warning track. Morgan on his way to third. He belly flops there with a three-bagger and a couple of runs driven in. That's what this electrifying first baseman can do. Love it all the way around. Reynas backs up, locates it, and stabs it a couple of steps in front of the dirt. Turin smokes that one the other way beyond Jordan Thompson, who went to his left as quickly as he could, but that ball was well hit, and that's only the second base hit for Maine. How far is Orono, Maine, from Baton Rouge, Louisiana? Oh, my gosh. It's a plane flight away. How about that? That's that, how far it is. That's a true answer. 80 pitches. He's getting close. 74 now. Thompson makes a late decision, and the runner is safe at second base. First. Merrifield with a strong, accurate throw takes care of business. Brett Irwin started. He was really good through five innings, and Cruz rips one to the left side for his first base hit of 2022. Opening night in Baton Rouge. Ground ball left side off the glove of the diving Marquez. A base hit into left, and the runner at first base hustles all the way to third. Kate Doty has his first base hit of the season, and Dylan Cruz was able to take third base. Collegiate baseball at Delgado and at Nichols. And this one is hit hard to center field. And a recovery catch is made by Reynas. Jobert gets the sacrifice fly. Cruz trots in from third. The odds, the chances, and feel. A knock to right. And a run scoring base hit for Jordan Thompson. Brett Irwin was super good as a starter. Trevor Labonte, not so much. Yeah, the bats have woken up for LSU. And he's as good as anybody. He can go get it. A solid throwing arm as well. Another misplay on the infield. And another one in the outfield. LSU gets a run out of that somehow. Uh, two ways to say it. I mean, look, when you can't get outside, you can't take ground balls. You can only take so many balls in the gym. It's just not the same. Her pitch. That was to Jobert as he hit one deep over the right center field wall. He does what he does so well and so often as he rips it on a line to the outfield. Morgan, as much as anybody in the league, will spray the ball all over the field.
Cruz is hit by a pitch. That's hit on the backhand side of the third baseman and the ball rolls down the line. One Tiger scores, another Tiger scores. Doty winds up at second base and LSU for the fifth straight inning has changed the scoreboard. Well, this is what you hope when you set your lineup up. If you talk to head coach Jay Johnson, he says, you know. That's well outside of the strike zone. It on there. That's hit sharply, gloved by the first baseman, and the out is made at first. A run scores. The Giacomo hits one into the right field corner. Let's see how far he runs. He is striding at full speed to second. He'll stop right there. The Giacomo continues the hit parade as he lines one into the right field corner that rolled to the warning track. Tigers, after a slow start, now have 12 base hits. And the inning is finally over as Merrifield grounds out. Here's the 3-1 pitch. Smashed deep to left center field. That one is way back, and it's gone. A black bear blast by Scout Knotts. That'll make up for three strikeouts. Yeah, nobody's going to remember those three strikeouts in his first three at bats, they're going to remember that right there. That is to end to traffic, too. Scout knocks all six foot six of him. Three one count. He gets the barrel out on this fastball. He knew it right away. You see the left fielder Stevens giving it chase, but that ball easily clears the wall. Bryson grounded out. And he has three strikeouts now as Bryce Collins throws a couple of innings for the first time since the 2019 season. And Ben, the final score tonight, LSU got it rolling in the back half of the game, scored in one, two, three, four, five consecutive innings, and 13 won the final.